Well, a family in Upper Marlboro, Maryland is creating a legacy of champions in the world of rodeo. It's even put them in the national spotlight, but I found out that their love for cowboy culture runs deep. And for them, making history is just part of their everyday life. Meet the Jacksons, your typical American family. Nothing out of the ordinary. Well, except for... For one, we're just a family that loves one another and loves the Western lifestyle and uh, way of life and particularly rodeo. Before they were husband and wife and then mom and dad, for Corey and Robin, the love for this lifestyle goes back as far as they can remember. Robin's a fourth generation cowgirl, which makes the kids all fifth generation. Uh, Robin's uh, forefathers, they were sharecroppers uh, right here in the Southern Maryland area. And they were really skilled at uh, training horses and mules to plow. I can't remember a time where we did not have horses. With Robin, the story starts with her father. As a child, he was motivated to have his own farm after the owner of a farm his family worked on told him he couldn't ride trained ponies, only the mules and workhorses. I think that really stuck with my dad um, and it really um, just kind of gave him a, uh, the fire he needed to just realize his dream of, of owning his own horses and actually enjoying them. That love helped him pass down a legacy to his daughter, her future family, and the foundation their home sits on today, a passion she finally would understand at the age of 17. Corey, on the other hand, was almost hooked from the start. I've always loved horses just, you know, from being a little a little kid. Um, my grandfather and I, we would uh, watch Westerns on Saturday morning. And that, that's where that passion, you know, developed. But unlike Robin, Corey didn't have horses when he was growing up. Still, his parents supported his growing passion. Then some years later, cowgirl meets cowboy at, you guessed it, the rodeo. We just had a great time for a very long time before the kids came, <laughs> riding every day. They got married, had five kids, and settled into life on the farm. These days, everybody's on a pretty normal schedule. The kids handle chores and a school day with mom, but after that, the pace picks up. You know, different days of the week, we'll practice different rodeo events. You know, uh, Nicholas and Dylan, they ride bulls, so we'll buck bulls once a week. And then everybody ropes. The girls, uh, they break away rope. They goat tie, barrel race, pole bend. So we, you know, we get it in during the week. You know, my background is in football. So, you know, you practice, practice, practice every day. Which, combined with the kids developing their own interest, turn them into competitors. Uh, really good ones. They've got the trophies to prove it. The shiny hardware isn't too hard to find either. They're usually wearing them. Sometimes your friend will just text you and be like, hey, I saw you on TV. All the kids are state champions in multiple events. Meanwhile, Nicholas has raised the bar just a little bit. Nicholas is a world champion uh, bull rider. So he's, he won the world in 2020, and he backed it up winning the reserve world championship. It's a great feeling because when I first started, it was just something I liked uh, to do for fun. And looking back now, eight years later, uh, I would have never expected it to go this far. But they don't want anybody thinking this is easy work. You can learn it, anybody can learn it. But it is um, hard. Whether you're on top or whether you're on the bottom, it's all work. Mm -hmm. And even mom admits, watching your oldest competing son ride bulls can be a little stressful. I'm very nervous watching him when I'm not at the event. I always want to see that he got off safely and, you know, we'll worry about the score later. <laughs> what this family represents, though, is bigger than any points they could score. Corey knows that to say you're proud to be black and to be a cowboy or cowgirl is an accomplishment in itself. Growing up wanting to be a cowboy and just not seeing many, many black cowboys, if any at all. And then, you know, it also goes to, you know, what was in the history books or what was not in the history books when it pertains uh, to black cowboys. So as I got older, you know, my family told me, yes, black cowboys are real. They do exist. Um, you know, blacks had a, had a very significant role in the settling of the American West. When the kids compete though, they want them to do just that. Aware, but not thinking too much. You know, there's a, there's a confidence that's required to, to walk into a space um, when you're obviously different. <laughs> just the feeling of knowing that we uh, are contributors, 
you know, to history. And as the Jackson kids continue to grow up, Corey and Robin believe what they learn in this arena will give them everything they need to grab life by the reins. I like that rodeo teaches them ownership of their own behavior and accountability. I tell the kids, if you can rodeo, you can do anything else. But just like in rodeo, you know, if you hit a bump in the road, we work through it, we persevere. So you have that same tenacity um, outside of the arena as you do inside of the arena. Oh yeah, love the Jackson family and what they're doing. They, they're so proud of, of where they come from and applying it to what they're doing today in their family. So that's so cool. And then the other cool thing about it is, I know a lot of moms and dads are like, letting your kid ride bulls, that seems so crazy. But who better to train him than his own dad? Who, who wants you to be safe more than your own dad does? Yeah, so, and if so they cool. really love it, you know, then you, you don't want to get in the way of that passion yeah, and that drive. Yeah. So you can, you can tell that they definitely love what they do. Yeah, absolutely. All yeah. right. Very good story. Thank you very much for that.